Cool. So let's learn how to pick up a ticket on Vivaldi Metro. So the scenario for picking up tickets on Vivaldi Metro is actually very simple. A customer walks in, he hands you over some items, you go ahead and write a ticket for those items, uh, you clean those items, and you mark the you, uh, you mark the tickets ready or you assign location. The customer comes back a couple days later and is ready to have his tickets or his items picked up. So what do you do now? It's very simple. You go ahead and uh, when you're on the main menu, you go ahead and click on pick up tickets, which will send you to the customer search window, uh, which is similar to whether you're writing, uh, writing a ticket, editing a ticket, or picking up a ticket like we're doing right now. And actually, it's very funny. Um, the convenient feature of customer search window is that it remembers your last input or what you typed in before previously. So on one of our last things that I did on on the customer search window is type in uh, write a ticket for John Peterson. Um, so it remembers that I typed in Peter on the on the search box and it displays it here on on the list. But you can go ahead and erase it and type in something else or you type in part of a name or type in an account number which might just be the phone number. Or if you want to do something very convenient or very fast, you know, you speed up the process or if the customer is in a hurry, if you have that ticket number ready, you go ahead and type in the ticket number and then click on pick up um, by ticket number here and it will direct you to the pickup window and just 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 more convenient for you but right now we're going we're going to go ahead and type in peter part of it clicked on the search now and once you find the, the the certain customer that you're looking for you click on on the certain customer and then you click on pick up tickets which will send you to the pickup window here you will see a whole list of the the items that we previously marked i mean that that are in process so 10 10030 ticket number 10037 is in process this one is the only one that is is ready and then we have the um, another one that is in process uh, so the ones that are marked ready are automatically checked with the um, with the checkbox um, so the only one that is pretty much ready is 10,000 ticket number 10,039 um, also if you've assigned the location you've uh, um, the Valdi Metro will automatically put the status symbol a bar for ready and the location number so none of these tickets actually right now have a location number since we haven't assigned the location um what else um, if you want to see the contents of what what's inside a certain ticket you can go ahead and type and click on the ticket number so we'll we clicked on ticket number 10,039 and we s display the um, the contents inside this ticket so we have two sleeveless blouses and then one regular short unlined dress um, if you want to let's say add a coupon or a gift card you have these simple you know quick easy access gift card or coupons added and it will add it to the subtotal um, but first we have to actually check on a ticket number and this is actually very convenient these buttons right here are what I call the filter buttons so uh, and it will do whatever it says on its respective um, box. So it says here show tickets that are in process. So all the it will filter out all the tickets that are in process. Show the tickets that are ready for pickup, and then show all the uh, in process and ready tickets. And actually, the one here at the bottom is for mapping the customer for delivery. So if you're using a delivery system and you're driving around with a tablet in hand, and you want to see a, a, a you want to see a map of where this customer is located so that you can deliver their items you can click this button and it'll do that for you of course you need to have a address in the customers information window which we'll do on a later video um, another very actually convenient feature is if you have multiple tickets that have locations on it which none of these tickets actually have a location on it and you don't want to memorize where the tickets are so let's say for instance all these have a location and you would have to um, write it, um, memorize a certain location, go to the back of the store, gather gather all the ones that have been racked and then bring them back and just do these tedious processes of just going back, to the, going back, memorizing the number and going back, just picking up the items. Um, it actually, we have a, actually um, a very convenient feature. We can go ahead and select all. So let's just say, for instance, all these locations, all these tickets have a location. 
So we have the select all, um, and then we have this pick up list button, which will, if we click on it, it'll print out a receipt with all the locations, which you can then go back to the back of the plan, find the location, and bring the items to the front of the desk. Um, so we have that, again, we have that select all, and we have that all unselect all button. So for right now, we're just going to go ahead and select the tickets that are ready by placing a check mark um, next to the line and by clicking on the cash out selected tickets. This will prompt us to the um, to to a new new window. It'll allow us to pay in exact. If for instance, if you're if the customer is paying with a check, if a customer is paying with a hundred dollar bill, let's say you have these quick buttons so we have a 5 10 20 50 and 100 dollar bill if any of the buttons are actually disabled then the customer doesn't have the ability to do that so let's say for instance that if this customer actually this customer is not placed on account under the customer information window so this button actually right here is disabled so you're going to have to go to the customer uh, information window and enable that or put this customer on account so up on top there is a pick up only button so for if the customer only wants to pick up clothes and then pay later down at the bottom we'll see actually uh, two buttons called the pay with customer deposit and then place on uh, deposit with customer so this is if the customer has money in their house account if uh, so you can pay using that money using the button on the left if the customer pays and then wants to put the rest of the money as a deposit you may type in the deposit amount and then click on placed on deposit with customer. So for this demo, we're just going to go ahead and pay with a hundred dollar bill and then click on pay with cash. Pay with cash. This will prompt us with a new window with the change, uh, which will, if you have a cash drawer and you have this use cash drawer checkbox turned on, it will open the cash drawer and you can go ahead and give the change. So we're just going to click OK which just sends us back to the main menu and if you have the dashboard here um, you can go ahead and click on refresh and it'll show us that we've once it clicks on refresh it'll show us that we picked up one ticket so that is how you pick up tickets on Vivaldi Metro again be sure to subscribe to our channels as we like to add new videos regularly thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time